I, I do like it's funny. Um, um, even as far as Christianity is concerned, and and more so, uh, the Black Church, we we kind of say that if we had the missionary tactics and and the prowess of the Muslims, we would be like, I mean, it, it would be it would be open season. But but right, that that, that is right. I, I do like the Muslims and getting out there and getting their message out there, impeccable, literally impeccable. Right. Um, as as far as uh, what they believe in, that that's just, you know, that's a whole other issue. Let me say this. Rad is right. Um, the, 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 the issue is now the church is not the epicenter of the black community, right? It, it was once a place where you got educated. Um, it was once a place where you were able to get information um, about you know, whatever is going on in the community as far as voting or whatever the situation is, it was a place, it was a place where everything happened. Like, like you, it, like you, you had to come to the church because especially in that, like when we go back, um, pretty much in, 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 in a specific community, the, the only educated person was the pastor, right? Like, like he, he may have been the only person that could read, you know, when you go back to slavery and as you keep marching forward. So like, at that time, um, especially during Jim Crow and those things, it was natural that a leader would come from a place of religion, especially Christianity or even obviously in, in, in the Islamic community, right? It, it, because that was the place where everybody went as far as black people. But now that's not the place. Um, that, that's, that's just not our reality. In fact, um, some would suggest that people have moved away from the church and it would be very difficult for a church leader to command the audience of the masses as uh, Martin Luther King did or Malcolm X did. It was very, very, very difficult. But as I said before, you can't command the audience of the people who are in front of you, right? You can't be the leader of, of, of the people who are in front of you. And for other people that may not be of the faith, and for other people that may look to, to, you know, certain other things, they need a leader as well. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I don't, personally, I don't know who that is. Maybe it is a LeBron James. Maybe it's not. I'm not going to say it's Charlemagne, but um, maybe it is. I, I don't know who it is. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if we've ever seen that person. But as far as um, uh, a ministry leader kind of leading a, a black cause, I think, I think those days is kind of, I mean, they're over. I mean, I'm just being honest. They're over. I, I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. In, in order to succeed, you got to have, in order to succeed, you got to have a, a strong, strong foundation. Uh, like if you look at a tree, the only reason the tree is standing is because of the roots, which is the foundation. So without a strong foundation, you're not going to do nothing but fall apart. So wherever that, that foundation is coming from, I mean, that's all that really matters. You just got to get that that strong, firm foundation. 